my name's Rose and this is my back garden. Welcome to another edition of things to do in your back garden during isolation. Last episode we did this. We've put the pot in now and it looks lovely. There are a couple of seeds in it too. Ding ding! Today we are moving back onto planting. Many people have got into gardening so there aren't many seeds about. We are going to show you today things you can plant without having to buy seeds. Like peppers! You can just take the seeds off. It's quite easy. Just cut the top. They come off really easily. But they also are very small. That's all the seeds off. Now, we should have left these seeds to dry for a couple of days. But, as we're doing the video, we're going to do it right now. Just sprinkle them on top, two to each set. There, that's one done, let's do a couple. This, this they're very slippery. We'll get a lot left over, so any left over we're going to leave to dry for future use. There's one too many in there. We've got so many left over. For all these seeds, as they're so small, we're only going to use a fine layer of compost, so not too much. I'm just watering them in. We've got so many seeds left, we're going to leave them to dry out so that we can put them in a packet. seeds and tomato seeds aren't very different from each other. With the seeds you can both pop them in the ground and with the pepper fruit you can cut the top off and get the seeds but with tomatoes you can get one from your fridge and chop it up into slices and then just plant the slices. We don't have a tomato here to show you but we have been doing an experiment like this plant with one of our ones we did on our experiment. Check out my other videos to find out how we grew this. And what is it? It's a tomato San Mizzano 2. One more thing is, if you have any fruit plants around your garden, like raspberry, strawberry, and things like that, we have a loganberry, you can Look to see if you missed any fruit last year. If you did, it would have moulded and after it had moulded, it would have dried up. And then it would have turned to seed. We are going, you can put them in the ground just whole. We are going to plant some. This is a picture of them. They look like large raspberries, but actually they're a cross between a blackberry and a raspberry. There. 
Now let's go to the map. There. Now let's put a navel in. There. The second thing I'm going to show you is to how to clean your play equipment. We're going to start off by brushing it. Get a damp cloth and wipe it. Start from the top and work to the bottom. <laughs> it's very easy. We're almost finished. nice and clean. I hope you're enjoying the sunshine like I am. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Bye!